Hey guys, this is my product review of the new Gold Edge Sharpener that I've been using for about maybe six months now. It's from uh, New Edge Technologies. Their website is newedgetechnologies.com. This version is a medium grit. They also sell a fine grit version and also a diamond coated version. This is by far probably the best device I've ever used to sharpen instruments. Um, and I've used you know a handful of other ones on the market like the Sidekick for example. And this is um, definitely the best performing device. And it's also very affordable. It's only like 49 bucks. You know, so you can buy a bunch of these, you know, for those that like to uh, sharpen a lot and, and have a stone in every cassette. So this is uh, definitely doable. So I'm just going to kind of go through a bunch of photos here and a couple of video clips, uh, give you guys an idea of how it works and the things I like about this uh, product. So this is just the package it comes in. Um, it comes with instructions on how to sharpen. But you can also watch the uh, the videos on the uh, company's website also for that. But you know, if you're gonna be autoclaving this, which most of you will be doing, I'm assuming, um, you you know, gonna toss this thing uh, right away. Anyway. So this stone has two basic features that make it unique. Um, the first one are these grooves you see on the side of the stone. The top one is a wide. Uh, wide groove and the bottom is a narrow groove. It's got like a curved concave shape to it and these are used to sharpen the toe of the instrument of a curette, not a sickle of course. And this is um, this makes it much easier to sharpen something that a lot of hygienists find difficult to do which is to maintain the shape of the toe. As we all know, a lot of times, uh, you know, hygienists will sharpen a curette down to a sickle because they find it so difficult to do. So these grooves make it um, real easy to maintain that shape. And I'll show you in a, in a bit here how, how it works. So here is just the, the, the stone sat up, which is the position you're going to have it in when you're sharpening the toe of the instruments. So again, you have the narrow groove on the left side the Y groove on the right side. I've been basically using the narrow groove. Uh, it's probably just because of the particular brands um, I'm using for this, which is PDT and Nordent. The Y groove, I'm sure it's, you know, it can be used with other brands out there. So here the photo just shows the position you're going to be in when you sharpen the toe of the instrument. You want to add about 45 degrees and basically just going back and forth a couple of times. Super easy. The second primary feature of this stone that makes it so special, in my eyes, is the built-in 15 degree angle. So you can see here the top of the stone is parallel to the counter and you get that automatic 15 degree angle. And that's the only angle that you need, whether you're sharpening a sickle, a curette, a gracie, doesn't matter. Um, and this stone gives you that automatic um, angle and it's going to help you guide. It's going to help guide you uh, sharpening the the instruments correctly. So basically, that's how it works. So here you're looking at a Barnhart 56 Universal, and you want the top of the the working edge, the toe, to be parallel to the counter and the floor. And in this photo, you'll see the terminal shank is perpendicular to the counter, but don't worry about the terminal shank because when you're sharpening Gracie's, it's going to be off. It's not going to be perpendicular. All you care about is having the, the top of that working edge toe to be uh, parallel to the floor and the counter. All right. So here, is, again, I have the, the top of the toe is parallel to the floor and the counter. The top of the stone is also parallel to the counter and the floor. And it's giving you that automatic 15 degree angle that you need. So once you have it in position, all you're doing is just going you know, up and down a couple of times, keeping everything parallel, and it's going to give you that perfect angle every time. So here's just a video of me demonstrating it. So first I'm doing the toe, and I'm using the narrow, like I said, I'm using the narrow groove for the PDT instruments. 
You only have to do this maybe you know, four or five times. I'm just doing it quite a few times to show you different angles because of the video. Um, and it's that easy. And now I'm just doing the side of the instrument. So again, I have the, the top of the stone parallel with the ground and the top of the toe of the instrument parallel to the ground. Personally, I don't really need the counter to as a guide, but some of you might might need that. It's, you know, it helps you maintain the the top of the stone to the to the counter. All right. So this last video is just me cleaning up. Very simple. I just use hand soap and uh, and a brush to uh, to clean it. Super easy. You know, if you guys that uh, are gonna have one in every cassette, uh, you know these obviously can be autoclaves, no problem, and you can do that very easily. And like I said, it's it's pretty affordable, forty nine bucks. So I don't really see any negatives with the product. Uh, you know, easy to use, very affordable. So if you guys have any questions, you can uh, post a question at the blog or on the video, and I'll answer them as soon as I can. All right, thank you.